Now, welcome to the stage, Quixotic Fusion.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Arnie and Kathy Finner. Welcome everyone, thanks for being here tonight. We couldn't think of a better way to mark our 20th anniversary than to do it here in the Midland, amongst our friends, amongst the arts community. With Kansas City Barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a big plus. Uh, I, I think one of the things that we should always do is, is thank the people that uh, are responsible for this. So we would like to thank our committee that helped make Spectrum Live a reality. Lazarus Potter, Arlo Burnett. Yeah, yeah. Jim Falone, Sheena Wolf, Amanda Butler. We could not be here without you tonight. And all the volunteers that helped us all. All the volunteers. And all of you, because without you, there would not never have been uh, a Spectrum. Without all of you, we could have never had a Spectrum Live. So, it's the truth. It is. We're going to uh, kick off uh, the uh, awards this evening uh, by introducing uh, our friend, our brother, uh, probably, um, I think, one of the finest painters working today. Mr. Gregory Manches will present the awards for the advertising category. Greg? advertising category is probably uh, the most difficult of all the categories, I would say, but it pays really well. <laughs> it's uh, full of challenges when you find yourself up all night working around the clock, dealing with jerks, but you know, in the end, it pays really well. <laughs> And, uh, it, uh, uh, wait a minute, hold on a sec. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my rep. <clears throat> yeah, Richard, what do you got? I'm kind of busy right now. I... No, tell those guys I'm not taking anything less than 20 grand. You got that? <laughs> okay. No, actually, it's, uh huh? It's who? Oh, okay, all right, 500's fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, thing about advertising is it's probably the most unglamorous of the uh, awards, unless it works. And when it works, it pays so very well. <laughs> and one of the ways it pays is when your piece is nominated for a silver or gold award in the Spectrum Fantastic Art Annual. So, with that in mind, realizing how tough that category can be, the nominees for a silver award in advertising for Spectrum Art are and gold. Gray Gruth, Three Outlaw Samurai. Craig Elliott. Forest Awakening. Android Jones, Ganeshatron. Michael C. Hayes, Procession. And Dos Santos, Dragon Empress. The silver award for advertising goes to 
Android Jones. Android couldn't be here tonight, so accepting for him is Mr. John Flesk. Hi everyone, I'm John Flesk, as Greg just let you know, and Android couldn't make it this evening, but he did prepare a speech just in case he did, and here it is. It is always an honor to be considered for this type of recognition. My respect goes out to all of the other Spectrum contributors. I wish to express my acknowledgement and adoration to Arnie and Kathy for the years of dedication and enthusiasm they have selflessly invested into sharing their creativity with the world. Whoops. And thus creating our community tonight, let us celebrate the decades of love and humble service that they have devoted to all of us. And someone please buy John a drink for me. With gratitude, Android Jones. <laughs> And the winner for advertising gold medal is Dan DeSantos. Oh, geez. <laughs> um, I was trying to think of what to say and, and really the only thing I can think to honestly say is thank you um, to a lot of people. Uh, thank you to the jury, who are some artists that I hold in the highest esteem, so it's kind of humbling uh, for my work to even be included. Uh, thank you to Ian McKay, who probably took a good hour out of his day to show me how to make what was a pretty mediocre piece a lot better. Um, and thank you to Arnie and Kathy. Uh, the day I opened Spectrum Number no. 5 as a Christmas present was quite sincerely the day that solidified my decision to pursue this genre. So thanks. And now, for the book category, please welcome Irene Gallo. Hello, good evening. So, creating a book cover is one of the hardest jobs in publishing. Everyone has an opinion and no one is afraid to share it. To create beautiful work that can run the gauntlet of a dozen marketing meetings, please an author, and speak to the appropriate readership is a great feat. To do that and create a piece that stands alone as a great artwork, artwork is remarkable. This year's nominees are... David Palumbo, Fed. Brahm, Weepy. Charles Vess, Tanglewood. I didn't know she was a bottle witch. Sean Tan, never leave a red sock on the clothesline. William O'Connor, war griffin. And the silver. My fingers get unsticky. Charles Vess. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'm excited for Charlie. <laughs> the gold goes to David Palumbo. Uh, 
still waiting for somebody to tell me where the uh, practical joke is going to be revealed. So that is uh, a lot of intense competition that I was just looking at on the screen. So I can only say it's a tremendous honor. And uh, you know, thanks to everybody. So. <laughs> And now for the comics category, please welcome Nathan Fox. Thank you. Oh, crowd. Uh, well, it is without uh, and with great uh, humility and, and uh, com being completely humbled to be up here right now. Uh, it, much like many of, of everybody else here, uh, I was amazed and uh, inspired by opening Spectrum uh, for the first time uh, as a young student. Uh, and along the way, discovering storytelling as both uh, a visual writer and an illustrator. Uh, so it is with great uh, uh, joy that I'm here to uh, give this award uh, for silver and metal. So without further ado, the nominees are Jennifer L. Meyer, Aesop's Ark, Chapter 2, Page 2. Paulo Rivera, Daredevil, Number 10. Paulo Rivera, Captain America, Number 1. David Peterson, Mouse Guard, Black Axe. Number four, page 19. Joao Ruas, Fables, number 121. And the silver goes to David Peterson. Wow, uh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm really just happy to be here at Spectrum, period, let alone be winning an award. Um, I remember opening Spectrum um, in a Borders and seeing Travis Charest's work in comics and, and being amazed the a magazine that I found in a, or a publication that I found in a bookstore was celebrating comics art that I was already reading. Um, so it's, it's a big honor to be, uh, to be here getting this for comics in, in, in a, in a uh, convention about illustration that's celebrating um, s sequential storytelling. So, thank you. And the gold goes to Paolo Rivera. <laughs> Accepting on Paolo's behalf. Uh, is Dan Dos Santos. I totally forgot I said I'd do this. Um, I can sincerely say Paolo is one of the hardest working artists I've ever met. And, um, and so maybe he wouldn't say this, but I think it's very well deserved. Thanks. And now, for the concept art category, please welcome Ian McCaig. Thank you. <clears throat> when I was a little kid, I wanted to be a secret agent. I even had a book on how to be James Bond, which involved in convincing one of your friend's parents to try to run you over. If anybody wants to know how to survive that, see me after class. Uh, later, in high school, I actually started a secret service. We solved a crime before I was persuaded by the high school authorities never to do it again. So I immediately went and wrote to the United States Secret Service and asked for a job. 
and got accepted. I was asked to report to testing station 115B on a certain day. My dad wrote back and said, I'm sorry, he has school that day. <laughs> Mortified, my mom took me aside and she said, darling, why don't you just write about it? Well, years later, I discovered that writing about it in pictures was going to be called, in films, was going to be called concept design. Ironically, it's a lot like being a secret agent, because you can't talk about anything you've done for years and years and years. <laughs> the nominees, the category of concept design are... Theo Prenz, South Sun Cove. Paul Sullivan, Frank and Animal. Woo. Daniel Doju, Guild Wars 2, Norn Lodge. Justin Sweet, Marauders 2. Alan Williams, Tree of Tales. And the winner of the Silver Award for Concept Design is Daniel Dosu. Unfortunately, Daniel regrets that he could not be here to accept this award in person. We'd like to thank you all for your recognition of his hard work. Thank you. Which leaves the winner of the Gold Award to Alan Williams. the Fenners, who have made this an incredible community. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> I want to thank my wife, Victoria, for uh, grounding me. My kids for playing with me, <laughs> and the art directors that I work with that sometimes let me get off the ground. That's all I can say right now. And now, remembering our friends and fellow artists, that are no longer with us.
And now, for the dimensional category, please welcome Brandon Shiflett and Jared Shiflett. I'm really honored to be here to present the Dimensional Award, but uh, I have no idea why you invited my brother. <laughs> you know, we say that painters have it easy. They sculpt from one angle. Um, I mean, they paint from one angle, excuse me. And sculptors sculpt, have to make a piece look good from 360 different angles. And, well, we say this makes Virginie Ropars 360 times better than Greg Manchus. <laughs> it makes time. It makes Tom Keebler 360 times better than John Foster. <laughs> Sculptors, painters, sharks, jets. See what I'm trying to do? So the, the field of fantastic dimensional art and sculpting has exploded over the last 10 years. It really has, and Jared and I have seen this. There are more sculptors, more points of view than we've ever seen in this genre. And every year, the Spectrum book brings out the best works of sculpture this field has to offer. And we're really, really honored to say that the nominees and the dimensional category are. David Ming, Sashimi. Virginie Ropar, Mothra. For Jenny Ropar, Acanthropus 3. Dan Chajinsky, Turbulence. Katya Tal, Blanket Fairy. Yeah, 360 times better. You can't argue with math, people. It's math. So the Dimensional Silver Award goes to Virginie Ropars. There has been a terrible mix up. I have a silver envelope with a gold winner in it. Damn you, Finners! <laughs> so, the silver winner is David Mean. I'm not David Mean. Um, <laughs> I had the pleasure of working with David for six years in the film industry, um, and uh, he unfortunately can't be here tonight, so I'm going to be his stunt double. Um, so I just bear with me, I've got to read this, um, because I haven't committed it to memory. Um, I, would I would like to sincerely thank everyone who voted for my piece this year, give a huge thanks to the judges, and also congratulate all of the other artists who were nominated. I would also like to express how much I appreciate Spectrum's tireless efforts to celebrate the creativity and hard work of today's fantasy artists. Thanks to Spectrum, I've been able to show my work not only to a wider audience, but one that is as much in love with the genre as I am. No other publication gives artists like me quite the same platform. It is an amazing book, and I hope it continues for a very, very long time to come. Thank you again. David. And this works out for me because I had the silver, silver award envelope, but who I really wanted to give the award to was one of our heroes, mine and Jared's, the great Virginie Ropars.
Um, it, it's a bit difficult after that, that mess you made. <laughs> Um, I would like to thank everyone here. I'm so honored and it's, you can't imagine how important that is for me to be here. And um, I would like to thank Cathy and Arnie for what well, they made with Spectrum Art Life and with all the Spectrum books. Because really it's... Um, it's one of the, well, I think it's the most important thing that happened to me uh, in my career. And it's, um, you know, I, um, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And now for the editorial category, please welcome Peter DeSev. He's checking the envelopes just to make sure. <laughs> which frankly, I'm very happy about. So, I'll be right back. Look what's happened to them. What kind of a show is this? It doesn't inspire confidence, but. All right, silver first, right, okay. Editorial illustration. You know, we editorial illustrators tend to deal in very earthbound stuff. So getting an award from a place like Spectrum is, is like getting an award from another dimension. And uh, I, I know from experience what an honor it is to be recognized by this place and by you strange people. Um, so I'm very happy to, uh, to present the nominees for Editorial Silver. Sam Weber. Cancer Monster. Sean Andrew Murray. He's gone full bird. Victor Nagai. Best of the best. Sam Bosma. Stability. Chris Buzelli. Book Monster. And the award goes to Sam Weber. Thank you. Thank you so much. Such an honor to be here. We were reminiscing earlier about the first spectrums that uh, we opened when we were younger people, and uh, it goes without saying how great it feels to be up here accepting an award for something that I've uh, admired and been a part of since, you know, I was a much younger person. Uh, and I also wanted to uh, take the opportunity to thank uh, my good friend Dan DeSantos for everything that you have done and helped me with over the years. Uh, I came in to the genre from the editorial world, and you know, I wouldn't be here, my work would not be what it is today without you, so thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. And the award for editorial gold medal goes to Sam Bosma. Oh. 
Sam could not be here this evening, but would like to thank the jury for this honor. So I'm going to keep the award. Sorry, I realize this is super weird to come back here, but uh, Sam wanted me to read this. What, should I go? Like a Swiss watch. Sorry. Uh, sorry about this. Um, so Sam wanted me to, to read this to all of you. Um, Sam was my student, so this is also incredibly awesome. Uh, thanks to Sujin Bizelli, my wonderful art director, and to the Spectrum judges for seeing fit to nominate my work in such a loaded field. Congratulations to all the other nominees, Sam, Victor, Sean, and Chris. I'd made up my mind that if I had to lose, there were few people I'd rather lose to. I'm glad I didn't lose, though. <laughs> I'm very sorry I couldn't be here to receive this in person, but please direct any congratulatory drinks to my proxy, Sam Weber, <laughs> who's been authorized to accept them on my behalf. Thank you. And now for the institutional category, please welcome Bob Self. Hey everybody, it is amazing uh, to be here. I just wanna say that uh, I was probably invited up here to present the award because of my status as a uh, art industry professional, but a good decade before I started my publishing company or submitted anything to Spectrum or met Arnie and Kathy or uh, knew that there would be a Spectrum Live. I was just browsing a bookstore and I found a remarkable book on the shelf. It was called Spectrum. It had no number in front of it. Um, I bought it immediately. I was fascinated by what it was. And uh, I've bought every issue since, every, every volume since. And the reason I'm telling you that story is because what I really think I represent uh, are the fans, and I know there's plenty of you out there, uh, and, and all of you artists are fans as well, but uh, regardless of what I've become, I've always been a fan uh, of fantastic art, and uh, it is so amazing to be here celebrating it. The institutional category is interesting because uh, I don't think most of us know what it is. Uh, basically, everything else is well-defined, and then you have a category that's uh, barely defined at all. But that's the point, uh, and it, I believe, goes all the way back uh, to the beginning of the book. Uh, there, there needed to be a category for things that weren't so well defined. And uh, why is that important? Uh, it's important because fantastic art is everywhere. It's not just in books. It's not just in concept art. It's not just in comics. Fantastic art is every friggin' place that we look, and that's what Institutional represents. And on that note, I am very pleased to say that the nominees for the Institutional Awards are... Keiki Kotaki, Stampede. Ed Binkley, A Cobb of Chiselton Brimble. Tyler Jacobson, Rurik Thar, The Unbowed. Lucas Graziano, Dragon Swarm. David Palumbo, Taken. The winner for the Institutional Silver Medal. Lucas Graziano. I have to put I have to put my glasses on to read the smaller print uh, that says he is not present, but John Picasso is coming to uh, accept the award on his behalf. Yes, come on up. How are you guys? All right, I got a couple of remarks here from Lucas. I'm deeply honored to have my work selected for a Spectrum Award, especially with all of the amazing work done by each of the finalists. 
I'd like to thank the judges for their hard work and the time they dedicated to the competition. And a big, big thanks to Kathy, Arnie, and the rest of the Spectrum team for all of their hard work in bringing recognition to fantasy art. And just as a side note um, from myself to Lucas, it, this guy is one of the hardest working artists in our field. He just keeps getting better and better, and he works his tail off, and I'm so proud of him. Really happy. So congrats. He says thanks. <laughs> The winner of the Institutional Gold Medal, Kekai Kotaki. Kekai is also uh, not here this evening. I do have uh, a small uh, message that he sent. I apologize for not being able to attend, but I wanted to thank everyone here for being a part of this. I looked through the guest list and there are many names that I grew up with. Thank you for the inspiration and letting me know it's all right to dream. It has been an honor and I am humbled. Thank you. And now for the unpublished category. Please welcome Lauren Panapinto. <laughs> I think like many of the people in this room, I would not have the career that I have if it wasn't for the Spectrum books, which I sadly admit I might have stolen from my job at the comic book store sophomore year of high school, um, all of the ones that they had. Um, <laughs> I am thrilled to be presenting the awards for the unpublished category. Not only does it contain the work that all those meddling art directors had to kill because the Amazon buyer hates dolphins or the client's mother's bingo partner hates blue, it also contains the passion projects, those still up at 3 a.m. acts of creation that are for the hardest client of all, the artists themselves. The nominees for unpublished category are Eki Kotaki, right. Corey Godby, the Fishmaster. Toru Patrick Awa, Sudden Shower. Andrew Marr, Tell Tale Art. Lucas Graziano. Guardianship. And the silver medal goes to Andrew Marr. legitimately did not prepare anything because the competition is so strong. Um, I was sitting out in the audience and I wanted to do what Charles did and just do the Joe Pesci Oscar award and just say thanks, boom. Um, thanks to my teachers, to my friends who are always willing to, to critique me at four in the morning, uh, my brother for taking on the burden of the successful Asian student so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> um, and, and my parents for making everything possible. And you guys keep inspiring me. Thank you. And the winner for the gold medal goes to Corey Godby.
Oh my goodness, I, I don't know what to say. Um, thank you so much, this means so much to me. I, um, I'm really grateful to be a part of this, uh, just for, for the home that Kathy and Arnie has given uh, all of us. Um, just thank you to them, thank you to everyone involved in Spectrum, thank you to my friends, my family. Um, I, I couldn't have done this without you from, for, uh, I, if I'm going to start thanking people, it's going to go on forever, but I just wanted to, just to thank uh, Paul Bonner, Jean-Baptiste Mons, Charles Vess, my good friend Justin Gerard, my wife Erin for putting up with me, <laughs> and for putting up with all the time that I put into this. It's just, thank you. And um, I, I can't wait to see what happens with Spectrum. I, here's to the next 20 years. Thank you. <laughs> Spectrum's previous Grand Masters. To present the award for Spectrum 20 Grandmaster, please welcome back to the stage, Kathy and Arnie Finner. Before, before we give out uh, the Grandmaster Award, we'd just like to say that Brandon Shiflett is 360 times better at stuffing envelopes than we are. <laughs> so. I think without further ado, uh, we would like to present to you uh, this year's Grand Master Award winner. So I think we have a little special video to lead into it.
get out of here. Nobody told me. I was so happy I didn't get the other award because I didn't have anything to say. I'm no good at this. Um, oh, shit. Um, I'm going to just wing this here, guys, so go with me. Uh, you know, if I wanted to say one thing, it's like, it's so amazing to get to a point where you can make a living at what you did as a child, what you always wanted to do. I feel so privileged to be able to do that. Um, on top of that, to be honored by your peers, to be appreciated, it means so much. I feel so lucky. Um, thank you, everybody. Thank you, Finners, for making me a part of this, for, for making all this happen, for bringing us all together. Uh, everybody in here knows it's a tough road to be uh, a, an, an artist. It's tough on yourself. It's tough on your family. It's not an easy way to make a living. It's very lonely. Even when you work with other people, it's very lonely. Um, so it's, it's incredible to have this community to be a part of. It, it makes it all worthwhile to know that people see what you do and they appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage, Quixotic Fusion. <laughs> 